Hi guys, I recently had a question. What multivitamins and minerals do I need on a ketogenic diet? Well, the first thing you need to do, and a lot of people will use vitamins as a crutch because they don't, they don't want to consume the amount of vegetables that they really need. You really need to do that because we want to get as many vitamins and minerals from the vegetables as possible, seven to 10 cups, not just for the vitamins and minerals, but to flush out the fat. So we need that, uh, those greens, those healthy vegetables, okay? However, when you're switching from sugar burning to fat burning, you're, when you're adapting, you need certain nutrients. You need more of certain nutrients. You definitely need more B vitamins, vitamin B6, B5, B1, and B12. Um, I recommend getting these in nutritional yeast. You can get it in a powder. I have nutritional yeast in a tablet form to make it easy to consume. This is a non-fortified. When you consume nutritional yeast, you don't want to fortify it, enrich it with synthetic vitamins. And I also added some natural B12. You also need minerals, specifically potassium, magnesium, and sodium. When you're on a low carb diet, you need more salt. So consume about one teaspoon of salt. If you're on a high carbohydrate diet, only have about a quarter teaspoon of salt. But we do need a lot of potassium. We need a good amount of magnesium. Um, I use the electrolyte powder because it has 1,000 milligrams of potassium citrate, has a good amount of magnesium, and has a little bit of sodium. So you may need to enhance the sodium because this does not have a lot of sodium. But this is cool because it doesn't have any maltodextrin, it doesn't have any sugar, and it has the trace minerals in it as well. You also need vitamin D3. You can get this from sunlight or fish oils, and that way you can kill two birds with one stone. You can get your omega-3. So if you had a high quality cod liver oil, you can get D3 and omega-3. Okay? And then you have the trace minerals, which are those minerals that are needed in much smaller amounts. It's hard to find that in the diet, and it can really help you. So an example would be like chromium, iodine, selenium. So again, the goal is to try to get as much of the vitamins and minerals from the food, but I also recommend enhancing it with the B vitamins, minerals, D3, omega-3, and trace minerals. Thanks for watching. Hey, tell me what you think about this video. Go ahead and comment below and give me your feedback.